Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is New Pantheon Academia here on Saving Throw Show. I'm your host, fun gay uncle and professional hobbit, Stephen Pope, and we will be playing Overarms, uh, available at drivethroughrpg.com. Now, before we get into our usual rigmarole, let's start with our table. Uh, they fell through a well and are now working with Oda Nobunaga themselves, Aki. Hey everybody, I'm Aki. I play Manny Brown, um, whose divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Um, and I'm really excited to be here. Uh, one year older, uh, but still just as fucking awesome as before. Damn right. And happy birthday! Happy late birthday! Aww, thank you! Woo! Everyone, everyone wish them a happy birthday. Eh. Do it! Eh. Happy Do birth! It. It. Thank you. Next up, they're the coolest vampire hunter you've ever met, CB. As long as you mean Richter Belmont, fine. Uh, hello, my name is Omega Jones, also known as a Critical Bard. I got sushi. I'm a hot ass mess uh, who uh, makes trouble wherever I go. I'm an active vocalist, host, moderator, professional, professional, eh. uh, mm. uh, full time partner to twi twi that Twitch streamer here on the Twitchies. Uh, and I play Kuwame Akinyimi, whose divinity is the silly spider on my shoulder, Adansi, West African trickster god of stories. Love it. Next up, uh, they're the guardian of truth, beauty, and justice, Mika. I could have sworn that would have been Eric. Yeah, I usually I thought, throw that one to Eric. It's normally me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. I play Dolly Wingrove. You're lovable uh, and a little bit too naive theater kid whose divinity is Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, and also vegetation and grain. Two very great things to mix together. Death and bread. Death and plants. <laughs> no, death and bread. Death and bread. That, that, I want that on my tombstone. <laughs> Next up, they're a dishonored samurai looking for a reason to continue fighting. Eric. Why, hello, everybody. Uh, today I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the the uh, the party boy uh, jock character who is uh, as the the goddess Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer living with inside of him. Uh, we do love that. Um, before we get started properly, uh, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor today, Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can save 10% by using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. If you're in the chat right now, live on Twitch, go ahead and put exclamation point D-H-D-I-C-E. That's D-H-D-I-C-E. I remember my sign language. In chat right now for links and info. The code only works till the end of this month. Uh, that would be March. Today is Pi Day. Go enjoy some pie and buy yourself some dice while you're at it. Get it now. You can also get CB's dice set. Pretty rad. And lastly, uh, we want to welcome uh, any watchers of the VOD on YouTube or listeners of our podcast. Yes, we do a live show on Twitch the VOD on YouTube, and this is a podcast. We are everywhere. But we would love to remind you that your likes, your comments, subscribes, and the little bell icons really do help us out, and you will never miss something from us. We love to make you good content, and can't make it without you, friends. And on that note, if you are watching live, your tips not only help pay our beautiful cast, look at them, they're so handsome, they're so pretty, they're so amazingly beautiful, but your tips not only help pay them and keep the lights on for us, you also help determine how the story will go. Go ahead and put exclamation point uh, tips, and you can see how this plays out. We have some amazing ones this week uh, that I'm not going to spoil, but they should be amusing. That's well, scary. for me. For me. They're amusing for me. Like, I have a great time with them. These guys... Pfft. So... Last week, we had a very interesting experience in a haunted house. As we really did. <laughs> as Kwame revealed that they have a thing with clowns. Though I am curious as to why. We'll figure that out one day, I promise. Um, Mika found out that the doors to oblivion, the doors that hold something grand and evil with them are visible through cameras and seem to be visible in the old gymnasium which would have been enough of a discovery but then they re but then the cast was reunited with Loki 
who seems to be a bunny now and can't tell you why or won't tell you why. As a new crow exited the doors to oblivion, they had a big fight. They won. And that was about a week ago now. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Hold on. What in the, well, you get, you're gonna oh, do that right at it? Oh, right in front of my salad. Yeah. Like really right in front of your salad. Cool. Um, cool salad, are you kidding me? Cool, 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 uh, cool. First of cool. all, I need to put you over So that's here. speed plus dexterity. Yes, you. speed plus dexterity, and you do not spend the anima point. Which is very good because you have all had three crow experiences in as many uh -huh. days. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to know was... Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, at least it was on initiative. You can't get yeah, Dahlia that's is not I'm having a good away. time. Sorry, I one just... second. There we go. Boom. That said, I got I got an eight on my initiative. All right, all right. I had to make sure my screens are correct right now because they were not. Okay, about a week ago, it, it is, it is, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, it is speed, best dexterity? You got it. Yay! As the four of you gathered in the library to just do a project on some Mesoamerican studies, just to do some homework, you were attacked suddenly and violently by a marble white horse this time. <gasps> It's not a it's not a real horse, don't worry. Uh Lenny, Kwame, what'd you get? Thirteen. Five. I got a five. Oh boy. You Things guys... are going just fine. Everything's fine. There are Everything no problems here. All right. So Kwame actually has the same initiative as our lovely uh rock stallion. Mm -hmm. And players go first. So Kwame, you were just trying to get some homework done. You just this, want to get this project over with. Is this horse and, also voiced by Matt Damon? Like um, <laughs> Stallion of the Cimarron yep. spirit. Mm -hmm. My favorite. I haven't thought about that movie in 20 years. <laughs> You see Kwame like looking at the pencil in his hand, um, trying to figure out. You know, like when you're taking notes, you got to write shit in certain in a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, and where does this horse come from? You were in the library, and it just came out of the nonfiction section, barreling at the four of you uh, with a giant hoops. Are we the only ones in here? Uh, thankfully, yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, why? I just want to do my homework, and I don't always like doing my homework. You know how this fuck shit. Um, do we really have to deal with this? Like, is this like a priority? Could it get like run out and like, I don't know, go to I don't to Tahiti or something? I wish that that was. I really do wish that was an option, but unfortunately, we have a job that we have to do, and that is to protect the school and make sure they don't see this sort of stuff. So, sorry, no, you cannot go to Tahiti yet. If you wanna go for like spring break, I'm pretty sure like, you know, we could figure something out. Yeah. Well, can you at least remind me to um, um, get a W4 to Mr. Ash so oh, we can get yeah. paid for this job, yeah. please, thank you. You know, I that you make a good point. We have not asked to be paid, but you know, um, that's a further conversation to be had. Is you well. correct? That's at the very, at the very least, we should we should be getting class credit for it or something. Well, a Nazi with a little vacation hat on, just kind of so Bermuda. I mean, I could, I could like totally like get a private jet to take us somewhere or whatever. Okay, before we actually deal with that, there is the, the thing that I, oh, okay. Yes, um, the horse uh, rears on its hind legs and kicks o over uh, some bookshelves. They crash into another one. Paper flies everywhere. Uh, it snorts and you see actual fire come out. Uh, yeah, um, no, this is your normal. 
Yeah, um, Kalame stands up and just like dusts himself off just in case. He just raises his hands. Ah, let me spin you a story in which what is sealed is shut for good as I look at the doors and make sure nothing can get out and nothing can get in while we're doing, while we're dealing with this. We are alone, so let's stay alone. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll me power and range? I'm sorry, uh, strength and range. Strength and range. Rumple stills can you stink? Uh, strength and range. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world for me. Uh, that is a t- uh, 12. Okay. Uh, you are now in bubble 12, basically. Um, everyone, someone would have to roll over 12 to break in. Uh, as Kwame and Anansi spin their web uh, outside the librarian tries to open the door and oh, door's not working. Hmm. Key doesn't fit either. Oh, dear. Now it is the horse's turn. It is going to try to uh, crush one of you with giant horse hooves and it's going to go for Manny. But, but why? But but why though? You're the one with the sword. I mean, yes, I I do indeed have a sword. Well, it rolled a ten to hit, so it is going to hit. Go ahead and roll me a defense, as it's going to. Uh... Mm, Oof. Defense. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's fine, y'all. This is going exactly according to plan. Uh, I rolled a four. Okay, so you take 11. Holy fuck. Okay. Cool. Yes. You have noticed that despite having to deal with one of these a day for the past three days, they seem to be getting stronger. Or perhaps you're getting more tired. You're just not sure. Uh, Manny, it's your turn now. Cool. Uh, I'm going to slice that guy with my sword. All right. Roll the hit. You you hit me. I hit you back. Uh, for me, that's strength plus power plus two, correct? Indeed. Look at me remembering my rolls. Ugh. Oh, my God. I rolled two natural ones. Y'all, we need to stop doing that. I would say use a reroll, but I mean, until we the don't chat have locks any. them, yeah. Um, but that's wow. Okay, okay, we are surely getting off to a real good start. Yeah, that's that's a yikes. That's, that's a big yikes with a critical failure. Um. It is a fumble. Um, Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I know what's going to happen. You go to stab your sword into the horse. It slams down on it. And you are catapulted, Eesh. Manny. And Eesh. you now find yourself on the back of this demon crow horse. It's going to go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead and roll me defense real quick. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh. Defense. I rolled an eight. Okay, it throws you on its back and it starts bucking wild and it flings you off, but Ma'at catches you before anything worse can happen. You are, however, without your sword now. Uh, my soul would. My sword. Not my sword. Yeah, no, there goes your sword. Lenny, you're up. Okay. Uh, Lenny's going to see Manny try and uh, ride this horse. Clearly, that was that's the idea is we got to break this horse. Uh, you know, so he, he, Lenny, I don't know if you know this, being a, a, a rich white, uh, has done a lot of horseback riding. So, yeah, I'm going to hop on that horse. I'm going to try and ride that horse. <laughs> being a what? Rich white. <laughs> Yep. (laughs) 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. All right. I have no problem with that. Uh, go ahead and give me a... Uh, let's make an intelligence power. Okay. Actually, you're not using uh, Ninkasa for this, are you? No. Then this is just going to be intelligence. Okay. Uh, that's a five. Okay. Um, that's a miss. So you attempt to grab onto this pony ride and uh, you get bucked off for two. Crashing right next to Manny. Uh, Dahlia, you're up next. Is the horse this going great. made of stone like all the other ones? It absolutely is. Like a white stone? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Equus on Broadway. Stop. <laughs> well, there's no naked Daniel Radcliffe. What a shame. <laughs> she's going to start looking around. Oh, it's just the horse. All right. Um, She's going to call on Persephone to pull out her... Uh, rose sword that she keeps using. All right. Uh, I'll just say you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to make you roll to get your sword back. Cool. And then she's going to strike the horse. Okay. Uh, as a magician, that is your power, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's your intelligence plus your range. Minus two. Come on, dice. Uh, Twelve. That is not going to hit. Huh? A 12 doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, you slash at this thing, and it is going wild. The table you had your homework on has just been crushed by these giant hooves. More paper everywhere. Uh, this is not going well. We cut back to the beginning of combat with Kwame. Uh, sorry. Mm, I'm good. I see. What's up, Wasabi, taberu. Wasabi, taberu. Wasabi, you be. Oh God. Um. 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 Uh. Yeah. Okay. Great. Seeing what has happened and seeing this thing rearing up and doing all that. Um. Kwame points his hands towards um the spider, the spider, the horse, looking um over at Nanansi, saying um. You remember when, you know, you would like, you know, go wee and go around and spin things together. Do that for him, please. Let me spin you a story in which your legs were wrapped up tightly. Um, and I want to um, um, basically just wrap his feet, attempt to wrap the thing's feet together. So one, it can't buck and two, it probably falls. <laughs> so okay. it's together. Uh, go ahead and give me intelligence range. And spend the appropriate anima point. Slip near stop. Um, uh, intelligence range. Um. <laughs> I was about to sleep. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> uh, that is, ooh, very much a 17. Oh, that is absolutely going to hit. Uh, the horse now has webbed eight. Um trapped in this uh, sticky concoction. It's going to try to... Uh, well, you shot the spider at it. It's going after you, Kwame. I did not ask for you to do that. No. It's an evil horse. What do you want me to do? All right. Uh, oh! Father. I critted. Huh? No, you but it was webbed up. What the web do? It's going to stop him, right? <laughs> no, that, that only worked in, he rolled... Under an eight, I got I got an eighteen, mm -mm, a twelve and a six on I'm a. Pretty sure that web means you gotta re-roll again and take lower number. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like listen, your dice are being incredibly rude, and I am, um, I'm not a, I'm not okay with any of this. I'm, yeah, I'm not loving it either. But all right, Kwame, uh, uh -huh. go ahead and roll me defense. I, I guess <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I just roll defense, correct? Yes. <laughs> Two. You take 13. Oh, wait, no. Let's see. Six and a nine. Um, huh? You're going to go ahead. I I'm going to be kind here. You're going to take 18 points. What was I going to take? 30. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well, thank you for your kindness. As you see, Kawame, is he get, did he get, like get head butted? Did he get hit with his feet? Like, what do you do? Uh, so the horse rears back and just head butts you directly in the chest. It looks painful. Uh, it snorts fire and singes your clothes, and it sends you flying into uh, the spider web you use to keep the door shut. Yeah, I I fly and 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 slam against the door, and I'm like, I'm okay, and I fall straight to the ground. I have two HP right now. Oh goodness gracious! Great falsifier. All right, no, it's um, okay. We got this, Manny. Right. So Is I'm on I'm on the horse, and I need to figure out how to get my sword back. Um. You got bucked off the horse, and you managed oh, okay. to survive. So you're off the horse, but you cool. need to get then your sword back. I, yeah, I'm gonna move to get my get my sword back. All right. And then, if I was still able to move into range of the horse, I, I would like to avenge my fallen brother. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> uh, oh man, please don't do that again. Don't do the same ding dang thing again. Uh, ding ding dong. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I rolled a six, which I know is not going to hit it. That's not it. That's going to be a mess. Good lord. Why is this thing so tough? You guys usually steamroll everything I throw at you in combat. Well, What's happening? We don't have rerolls. We do not have rerolls. <laughs> Puff, wink, nudge. It's a glance at the camera. Apropos of nothing, to bring up that for fifteen dollars you can have a school announcement, uh, where where uh, the the where uh, what's the name of the, the the person who runs the PA system? I think I named them Maurice. 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 Yeah. You can have, yeah. Does you Maurice can have, have a last name. Jehoshaphat. Yeah. No, ma'am. Okay. Maurice. What grade is he in? Oh, they're not. They're 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 faculty. Like, Faculty. Oh, yeah. faculty. Okay. How long have they yeah. been in this position? That's crazy. Yeah. Why are you stalling? Huh? <laughs> Jack, come on. I'm trying yeah. here. Fifteen dollars. You can have Maurice Jehoshaphat come in and say some stuff. Yes. Lenny, you're up next. Uh, you just saw this thing do to Kwame. What usually happens to you? DJ Phoenix, thank you for the reset. Oh. Th this isn't like... I'm trying to be like a bro, but this is like not cool. Uh, I'm gonna just go in and try and just just uh, use my special water beam. I <laughs> water beam go. Psh. Wow. Ninkasa appears behind you, uh, giving her trademark laugh. <laughs> go ahead and roll the hit. Okay, let's see how well this goes. Uh, intelligence, which is this one, and range, which is. This one. Boop. Yeah, that'll that'll 13. 13 hits. All right. Boop. Uh 10 12 damage as I oh. basically he his fist becomes a, a like a blade of water and just like and cuts All right. It takes 9 of that damage. Uh so it's still standing. You're welcome. Yeah. Like Outside, you hear Quee Squared in Hours Without Sleep, two members of the Library Society knocking on the door, trying to figure out what that commotion is. Uh, Mini Marker, thank you very much for the tip. Uh, so, Dahlia, you're up next. Um, I'm going to try to hit it with my sword again. Please. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, that is your intelligence plus range minus two. And Heather Fitzgerald, I assume daughter, niece. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. Um, Mika, you have a face right now that has me very concerned. I rolled a one. On two dice. Well, in plus range minus two, I technically rolled a three. But I had to minus two from it. So I, I rolled a one. 
So the good news is you didn't roll a crit fail because you didn't roll two ones. Yeah. The bad news is mm -hmm. you absolutely miss. You are swinging wide. Like it's at this moment you realize you could have taken either movement for theater or stage acting. And at the time, stage acting, I mean, not stage acting, but stage fighting sounded really intense. Yeah, so you did movement for theater. But it is also at this moment when you realize that we've unlocked rerolls. So <laughs> we have, we have, we have. Thank you very much, chat. So we now have five available rerolls for the table. Dude. Would you like to use one? I can I can I? I you yeah, absolutely I'll, can. We unlock yes. them. I'm doing that. Dahlia can't miss again. Uh, maybe she can. She, uh, an eight does not hit. <laughs> an eight does not hit. <laughs> All right. I uh, I missed again then. <laughs> yes. We're, 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 we're struggling. I'm trying here. to do like dancing, like interpretive dancing with my sword. Because I took the dancing class. Mm. I thought that that would come in handy more. Ah, uh, Yes. Also, real quick, if we hit $50, and every $50 beyond that, I will draw from the deck of heroes. We do have cards associated with you guys. It will net you a net. And if I draw from the deck your character card, you will get an automatic crit success or a crit fail for my amusement. We shall see what happens. But we are now, I believe, uh, $10 away. Four. Four dollars away. Four dollars away. So... Just throwing that out there, everyone. With that out of the way, we are back to the top of the order with Kwame. Sure we are. <laughs> uh, so being a newbie, you know, to this group and the uh, all of our endeavors, um, how does one, you know, heal from the pain that is being headbutted uh, by uh, a marble horse uh, across the room. So, like yippee -ki -yay. Yes. Well, there are several ways to heal within overarms. One way is items. You know, if you wanted to stop by the school commissary and buy yourself some items for storage, that is an option. Another way is similar to how you give conditions to enemies, you can do that to yourself for healing. Basically, use an animal power. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so I got hit in my chest, and I think it gets hurts a lot, and I say, oh, oh Nancy, uh, I need help, um, um, let me spin you a story, and when she wrapped me up like a blanket, please, thank you, um, and I want him to, like, wrap, like, literally make, like, a, a, a wrap around my chest and back. Um, so I guess I guess a little compression. So I so I guess like stabilize myself a little bit because I hurt. Absolutely. Go Some ahead and roll me intelligence defense. Okay. Some compression. Oh wait, wait, wait. What what I, what what I got a four on a d4 and a ten on a d10. Oh, that's a critical. Yay! All right. Um, You're going to feel so jazzed. Okay. So Anansi jumps down and it's odd. For a brief second, he doesn't look like a spider. He doesn't look like a spider. He looks much bigger and almost humanoid for a moment with many arms. But then it's right back to spiders. It's the oddest thing. And he goes, I'll do you one better. And you uh. find yourself in a cocoon that immediately breaks. You are back to full HP. I'm claustrophobic. Okay. Oh, oh, thank, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, oh. can some can can someone deal with that? Um, that that I don't know you horse thing. Like it's like I'm I'm still on the we ground. Are, we are working on it. Thank you. It is now the horse's turn. Um, uh oh. It, Going to go for Dahlia. Leave her alone. Me. I All right. I got a five to hit. It's going to roll damage. Go ahead and roll me your defense. Mika. Oh, yeah. That's a... Well, maybe. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. 
What is going on with the dice tonight? I got another one. What happened? What happened? So you are going to take 13 points of damage as the horse stops down on your foot. 13? 13. 13. I'm hurt. I'm hurting. And as you're fighting, you hear the loudspeaker. Dun, 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 dun. And Maurice has an announcement to make. Oh my god. Even, even oh, fuck tracks. Tracks. Right. Flashbacks. That was my grandma's All right. Uh, morning, kids. It's time for the announcements. Uh, this one's uh, from uh, Mini Marker. Let me see if I read this correctly. Please don't die. That is, there have been announcements for the morning. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, that was weird. If you hear the oddly specific message, um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll a d4 real fast. Uh, all right, CB, pick a number between one to three. No, okay, uh, two. No, no, two. Yes, two. two. All right, we have drawn the fool in reverse. Oh, no. That's I, me. My my lighting is not friendly with and my I cards. Do, that means I have disadvantage on something because that. That means I have a crit me. fail that I get to use on you. Uh, this is going swimmingly. It's my birthday. I feel like this is. You know what? Yeah, you that's know mean what? of you. you have a very good point. You have a very good point. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle your card back into the deck. Give a little ASMR shuffle. I think it's all of our birthdays, so you can't be mean to us. No. Yeah. Technically, no. it's a little bit over my half birthday, so. Yeah, well, same with mine, so. All right, Aki. I am going to redraw. I'm giving you a free redraw for your birthday, and I want you to pick between one and three. I'll go with CB's two. We'll keep that intact. You have drawn the hanged man upright. Cool. The Hanged Man represents uh, stubbornness and a resilience, a refusal to change for better or for worse. So for the rest of the combat, all of you will get a plus three to your defense rolls. Oh, could have used it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chat. Sweet. All right. My turn. It is now your turn, Manny. All right. Let's try a chop chop one more time and hope to goodness gracious that I do better than I did the last time. Come on, dice. Come on. No, I don't believe a nine will hit. A nine does not hit. All right. I think I know what I need to do on my next turn here because this is ridiculous. All right, Lenny, you're up next. All right. If if water worked last time, water works this time. I'm uh, I'm gonna do do more water because I gotta I can't I can't screw around. I actually have to use my strong attacks <laughs> against this thing. So yeah, we're gonna try this once special beam. Let's see how that's uh, that is only gonna be a twelve. That is one short. You can use a reroll. Ooh, we do have four remaining. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're gonna try. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's much better. That is uh, minus two, so that 13, exactly. That will hit. Go ahead and roll Ugh. roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay. Ooh, that is a good defense roll. Oh, one of those is gone. Okay, so that's the D8 just gone. So that I have to... Okay. So only six. It rolled a six on its defense. You shoot a beam, and it just turns around, bucks its legs, and kicks the water into the ceiling, crashing into it. You see rubble come down. That is not great for school's budget. Dahlia, you're up next. All right. I'm, I'm not screwing around now. And she's going to whisper to Persephone, you got my back here? Always. Let's give this horse something to eat. 
And I'd like to use Persephone's powers to basically wrap the horse in a hay bale, a bale of hay, mm -hmm. and then strap the sides of it with some vines to like keep it from attacking anyone and basically secure it in place. Okay. Uh, that is definitely going to be a uh, defense intelligence roll. Okay. Come on, dice. Twelve? Okay. Um, that is going to give it uh, hay bailed six. This couples with uh, its spidered eight. Now, so basically, if it rolls over a six, it still has to deal with the spider. If it rolls uh, under a six, it's going to have to deal with uh, being trapped in a giant hay bale. Cool. Start in the hayloft. Uh, okay. We cut back to the top of Kwame. Kwame um, looks at Anansi. Yeah, I've never seen you look like. <clears throat> I've never seen you look like that before. What was that? Mm. Uh, I'm just going to say you never asked and leave it at that. We have things to worry about right now. You say that a lot. Not fair. If, you know. You, you, you know what? You remember that thing you did with the dog in the cafeteria? Don't no. No. Let me no. spin you a story. Nope. And when the venom in your veins entered theirs. You are buying me a new toothbrush. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> uh, what is that again? I'm sorry. It is intelligence plus range minus two. Also, let me... Uh, I've used two different things now. There we go. Boop. Uh, okay. Intelligence range minus two. <laughs> I will get these uh, dice uh, eventually. That is 13? 11. That's a hit. 11. Oh, Sorry. 11 does not hit. <laughs> Would you like to use a reroll? Do I get to reroll one of the dice? Both of them. You Fuck can it. choose to just reroll oh, one. God. My character almost died, so. <laughs> You're taking is... that reroll. All right, all right. You, we are down um... to three rerolls. Oh, that's actually 13 under that. Oh, the 13, 15 minus 2, 13. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Same roll, plus Same, 2. Plus 2, yeah. Uh, that is 6, 8, 14, 16. 16, okay. Uh, this, you, you want to buy me a new toothbrush? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anansi shoots out its venom, and it hits the marble horse in the face. You see it begin to melt, the rocks taking on almost feather-like qualities as they dissolve. Um, this horse lets out a enraged snort, uh, but it's still standing, but just barely. Uh, it's going to buck and kick. Uh, who is closest to it? Not me! Uh, I, I've been standing pretty close. <laughs> All right, it's going to try to kick you, Lenny. Uh, it rolled a 10. That is going to hit. That it is. Uh, defense 5. All right. It. Um, how do you dodge this? Um, so it's, it's trying to buck and kick. Yeah, it is just lashing out. It doesn't really... It can't see anything anymore. I think, I think what Lenny is behind it, because he tried to do the water attack, it, it kicks at him. And like tries to kick him in the chest, but my chest becomes water and it kicks through me without it without being able to touch me. You just completely subverted a running joke from our last campaign, and I appreciate that about you, yeah. Eric. I cannot be kicked in the chest. It's impossible. No. <laughs> impossible. All right. Uh so now it's Manny's turn. Welcome back, Aki. I, I just also want to voice my appreciation of the subversion of that particular um, joke. I, I, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Very proud. And I know that if Bria were here, she would also be very proud of you. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so I think what Manny is going to do, since they haven't been having any luck actually hitting this thing, is uh, figuring out a way to further restrain it. So I think that... Um, uh, what they would like to do is to like put up some kind of like 
Uh, what do we have on him already? Have we already tried to like kind of box him in yet? Um, he has been a hay ba- He's wrapped in a giant hay bale. Okay. And he is also covered in spider webs that keep him from lashing out too much. All right. So well, then basically, if that it's a very already... round object flailing. Okay. If that, if that kind of work has already been done, then I will attempt once more to hit the thing. Go for it. Let's see how we do. And don't forget, you get to add two to your hit. Well, I rolled a 19. Oh. I feel like that will hit. That's going to hit. Cool. Roll your damage. And that is 16 minus 2, so 14 damage. Okay, Manny. Tell me how you kill this thing. <sighs> so Manny is looking at this uh, spider-webbed hay-bailed horse, casts a glance over their shoulder at Kwame and um, Dolly and goes, thank you very much. And then kind of swings their head, uh, sort around their head and just slices the whole thing in half. <laughs> Like anime style, you know, you see their sword go the do the shink shink, and they like kind of you know do the little land thing, and and then uh the the horse just falls in half behind them, they leap in the air, Whew! land on the other side, yes, that's it. You land in uh, just because I think the visual needs a l- just a little bit more weave in it. You have Maat's wings as you land, just because it looks yes. extra cool. Um, I'm here for it. And the horse, uh, for no apparent reason, splits in half and explodes. It absolutely does. That is 100% what's happening. It falls into two pieces, uh, sliced at an angle, and just dissolves, goes poof. Hey, story's told. Thank you for the raid. Uh, We are just wrapping up our very first combat of the session. So thank you for tuning in. Very Uh, first, as there's going to be more? Yeah, I don't have to answer that. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. You're fine. (laughs) You're fine. You're fine. That's fine. As the horse crow dissolves into the dusty white powder, um, the four of you realize, oh no, the library is trashed. (sighs) Oh, wait. Um, The doors are still locked. Um, um, Just... I don't know if the web is going to break, but um, just oh, hold the doors for a second. Um, and um, um, Kwame struggles to get back up. because He's been on the ground this entire time. That hurt. He doesn't like getting hurt. Um, no. Um, you Lenny's okay, gonna, buddy? Can Lenny's going to offer a hand. Can I call on Persephone to get some healing herbs? Of any kind for both me and Kwame. Well, Kwame's a full HP now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got healed by Nancy. Oh, good. Yes, but you can absolutely ask Persephone about, to heal. What about okay? What about some herbs that make you feel better, like icy hot herbs? <laughs> I mean, I have plenty of plants that make you feel better. <laughs> um, but you're a little young for that. Well, uh, uh, Ninkasi also has uh, this really <laughs> interesting Oh, I have many ways to make you feel better. Oh, like, I would love that, Lenny. <laughs> like, whenever I'm, like, like need to get to sleep or, like, you know, I'm just, like, need to relax, I don't know. It's like, I just drink, I, I drink this special juice and it's, like, it's, like, totally works. Oh, is it, like, um, it's, like, the green juice, like a juice cleanse. Uh, kind of, except a lot of times I, after I drink it, I wake up with a headache. Huh, I will, I don't know if I want that. Ninkasi, you should be ashamed of yourself. He is a minor. The large, uh, vessel with, uh, the stalks of grain sticking out of it just laughs. That's, that's a human concern. Back with... Back when I was properly seen, we didn't really have age restrictions on my- Are you talking about beer? Yeah, I, I was kind of, I was being being a little goofster. But yeah, honestly, like back in the day, people couldn't trust water. So they actually let kids drink beer because it was safer than drinking water. Well, that much I, I, I know. I also know that in Europe, it was sort of the same thing. Breakfast was basically beer because it was like bread. It was it was yeah, all the did. carbs that you needed to get through the day. 
And also, like, the water had been boiled, so it, like, killed everything in there? <laughs> I really am the most important one here. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you need any extra help, Kwame? That you, are you okay? I, do you need? Do you need? I was anything? actually going to say, um, I had an idea, and I don't know what you all have done <clears throat> before, but uh, I remembered something that happened last time about a week ago, a week ago, and um, have you ever? Have any of you ever thought about combining? What you can do. Like crossing crossing the streams? We've done a little bit of that. Dahlia and I have for sure. Yeah. Well, I was thinking that um, with my ability to make a story and your ability to find the truth and somewhat make the truth be what you want to be true. Um, what I'm saying is, take my hand. Um, and I, I like, go over to Manny. Okay. Um, oh, Lenny, let's do that too. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't be weird. This is not a thing. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to spin a story in which this place is clean, and all you have to do is believe it to be true. Oh, okay. Um, Maat is the goddess of truth and justice, so technically right. you have the ability to, to, to influence the truth as it needs to be, right? I think I think what I I can do is uh, ask Maat to revert this place to the truth of it, like the way it's supposed to look. That is a form of reality manipulation. You might not realize that. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm not saying you're not smart or anything. Let me stop talking. Let me spin you a story in which what was what in which one what once was is now. Um, and I'm doing the same thing as spinning that story in which the library reverts to what it I think that we was. can make it a little bit better to Ma'at. The organization in here has always been terrible. I think it could look this way and look, be like a lot nicer. Okay. I, I love this. I want both of you to roll me intelligence and power and spend Ooh. the AP point. Cool. Yeah, over here got like 20 AP points. I got none. Uh, one second. Oh, well, this is I mean, Dahlia. I didn't have a lot of AP, so <laughs> yeah. Dahlia's still holding Lenny's hands. She's like, oh, Hey, when we're of age, I could get Persephone to grow some really good grain, and then you can have Ninkasi turn it into really good beer, and we can have like a capital on oh. all of it. Yeah, you could make yourselves a craft brew. Yeah. Uh, a, ca a craft beer brewery company. We could we could start our own microbrewery. We can call yeah. it like Ambrosia. Oh yeah, ne that's like that's like, and then we could have like a like a like a little stage or whatever, so you can like uh, do your like performances and or whatever, and then like like I can be your MC. Yeah, uh, that's a six. <laughs> uh, six from <laughs> that's a thirteen a for me. <laughs> Just a six. Yeah, I didn't roll great on my my higher die. All right, so a 19 in total, though. That is definitely going to meet uh, the challenge. This was going to be like a 15. This is this is well within your wheelhouse. Um, so what you see is a Nazi for a brief moment gets wings. Now, the idea of a flying spider makes me want to burn down everything and live underground. Yeah. But um, for... Um, brief moment as you combine your divinity uh the entire library just glows and poof it's back to normal but it looks cleaner and a little nicer more like how you want the library to work to look than how it actually looks wow that's like really dope that's like a lot easier than just like paying someone to fix it uh, no, no, I don't think it's easier. I just think that we use some of our resources to get something done. But we don't have an unlimited time, I mean, amount of it. Yes, you hear knocking at the door. Um, Blind Seer and Derek Lee Ketchum, both members of the School Library Society, have uh, broken out some, broken out a toolkit, and they're trying really hard to get the door open. It ain't working. Oh, we should, um, uh, Anansi... We still wings, no. Um, and 
um, um, I go over to the door and like uh, try to just take off the webbing. Huh. You do easily. Um, it is your power after all. Uh, the webbing dissolves as soon as you want it to. Um, and you see two young men with, uh, one has a screwdriver, one has a lock picking kit and they just kind of, we, we were stuck outside. Oh Dude, yeah, stuck. it's it's a push, not a pull. It that, yeah. that gets me every time. Okay, without I, asking too many questions, because I got stuck outside weird. the student union for four hours once because I didn't realize. Wait, this is Eric talking, right? Maybe just a little bit. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> With your monster in the library defeated and you all relieved of this just drain you all take a relaxed sigh as you hear the lunch bell ring oh, man i i feel like garbage that that horse did a number on me Whew. i could use a nap I wonder if I can, you know what? I wouldn't usually do this, but don't tell anyone. I'm taking the rest of the day off. I'm going to eat a food and then I'm going to sleep. If anybody asks, I'm sick. And it's not a lie because I feel terrible. Mm, it's not a lie, but you are definitely expanding the truth. Oh, I I am at 13 out of 24 hit points. I am, I'm at, you know, less than half. So... Yeah, I, I I am not feeling great, so I am not going to go to class. Maybe I'll go to the nurse's office. Yeah, honestly, and get like, a note. Recovery is like a part important uh, in any workout re regime. You know, you got you got to really like focus on like not hurting yourself. Dahlia, you look like you could use an app too. Yeah, I'm not. I have a headache, like a really bad one, and my knees are bruised. We could do a nap sleepover. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes, absolutely. I am in. Cool. Let's go eat lunch and then take a nap. Okay. As, uh, as the four of you head towards the cafeteria, you notice the school is plastered in uh, pictures of Kwame and Lenny. Oh, well, just... yeah. Prom court. Yes. I still have so oh I have good news. Yeah. I managed to get them to change it from prom king and queen to prom court. So now they're going to have four, they're gonna crown four people. One, two, they're not calling it prom king and prom queen anymore because they're opening it up so that anybody, regardless of gender, can be nominated. And three, I have to find 16 more people to be nominated. Eight more people. Well, I thought it was 16. Or eight more people to be nominated. Four for oh. each of the two new positions. Oh, eight more people. Wow. Huh. Yeah. So I feel as though if there's somebody who would really like to be in the prom court, this is their opportunity to campaign for possible votes. And oh, I have yeah. a feeling that, like, they'd probably be very successful at it. That's crazy. Um, I, can I? Yeah, you know, I, um... Dolly's going to open up her backpack and pull out a stack of flyers that she had already had made. <laughs> I, look, and I know it says Dolly for prom queen, but I can easily get this changed and go back to the library tomorrow and get it changed to prom court. Um, wow, it, you, you just had those? That's that's like well, serendipitous. I, I had them made two weeks ago because uh, I thought that I would get nominated for prom queen, but then I, I never did. So I was like, oh, I'll save them for next year. And so I've been saving them. Just on the off chance, like, what if the prom queen nominee got sick and they needed a sub to come in? Or, like, they called me back for it. So I've that's not exactly how it works. But in, as far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't have to be a substitute for anyone because you're great. Um, and also, they're going to have two upperclassmen and two lowerclassmen. So, yeah. All right. I can get these changed super quickly, I promise. I believe you. Out of character, does upper class mean junior, senior, and then lower class is freshman, sophomore? Bingo. And Lenny's a sophomore? I am also a sophomore. We're all sophomores. I'm a junior. <gasps> yeah. 
We're hanging with the but, cool kids. <laughs> but I mean, if uh, but I was curious. If I, anybody like, I were, he was a junior. If anybody were to ask, Manny is not interested in being nominated. They just wanted to make sure that the option to be nominated was there. That was it. Was more about the principle of the thing than actually being nominated. So I was mainly wondering: are, are, are Lenny and Kwame in competition, or are they in different categories? I didn't know if he was initially you were. Initially they were, were yeah. in competition, but now thanks to the acts of Aki, well Manny, uh, you are now <laughs> not so much in competition. However, there I think does you seem are. to be. Is it... <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, there does seem to be a bit of a rivalry brewing around the two of you being nominated, regardless. Um, however, both the posters are done in a you want to say manga style, but not exactly. It's more like. Uh, a really cool comic book style of both of you. You both look great, though. The artists that we got to do the uh, to do the um, posters did really, really good. And I'm sure they're going to be excited to get commissioned for more work with eight more nominees. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's cool, I guess. Yeah. I am very proud of both of you. And I really, really hope that you get a nomination as well, Dahlia, so I can be proud of you, too. I mean, I'm proud of you already, but yeah. I hope so. Without the nomination, you are nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> Imagine a back-to-back -back Dahlia for prom court. Win. And then Dahlia is also leading the school musical next semester. Win. <sighs> that would just be incredible. I could wear my crown during my bows. Do you know how cool that would be? I've been just, having to carry around the crowns in my backpack for the last however long. Oh, how yes. do they fit? Do they fit well? Do, or do they I fit in the So I haven't had the chance to actually try any of them on, but I guess I should show you. Hey, yeah, actually, I have a very before average we, head before, size. Before we go in the cafeteria, y'all should see this, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but Loki was really interested in these crowns, and I'm not, well, I think I know why. They open their backpacks so they can show the crowns to the other three. The clown, the clowns. Sorry. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Send, no, 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 send no, in the clowns. The, <laughs> the crowns uh, are both glowing. Not because they're pretty, uh, have those nice little plastic diamonds in them. No, they are quite literally glowing. Uh, kind of a uh, orange light around both of them. Oh. Ah. Okay, wow. nice LEDs. The budget must have been high for this. That's yeah. cool. I'm I'm pretty sure there's some some sort of magic something going on with them. I haven't had the chance to actually do any investigating on them because I wanted to show them to y'all first. That way we could come to an answer together. It's not fun to do all the work by myself. That was really kind of you. Well, maybe when you and I go up for our nap, we can figure these out. Yeah, I test drive it, if you will. I, I don't think I'm allowed to let anybody put them on their heads. But we. But I could it. hold it like right here and then look in the mirror and it would be like I'm wearing it. Yeah, I guess you could do that. And you could probably look really nice on you. You could pull like a Caesar thing where like, uh, like Manny stands behind you and holds it over your head. Yeah. Uh. But didn't Caesar get stabbed? In the a back. Lot. Uh, yeah, that, that was a different thing, though. That was... Oh, okay. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I have no reason to stab you in the back. I like you too much. Well, I the back and the front and all over the place, really. Lots of stabbing. Do you two want to skip class and come and figure out these crowns, too? Oh, group hooky. Let's do it. I oh. mean, um... Uh... I mean, so, just because you feel better than you did before, Kwame, doesn't necessarily mean you should be rushing off to, like, tax yourself. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Science class is taxing. You are correct. Um, <clears throat> I love science. I'm no good at it, but I love it. Nope, not for me. Um, <clears throat> what about you, Lenny? I know you're an Ari, and, and therefore should be responsible. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Uh, I was going to go run three miles, but I guess I'll turn my, my, my th three mile later tonight into a six mile and that should even it out. So, yeah. Why are you still doing so much exercise? Yeah. You don't have to, right? You can do like an average amount of exercise now. Yeah, it is. That's my, that's, this is, I'm just in maintenance mode right now. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, um, Lenny, one day we should um go to the gym sometime. Oh, um, yeah. It's always nice to have a buddy. You could be like a um, uh, an inspiration when I struggle. Oh yeah, I mean the struggle is the whole thing. Like it's 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 about you, uh, going in there and like doing as much as you can, uh, and then uh, coming back and and trying to do one more. I have a feeling that in the background of this conversation, it feels to me like it's Dolly and Manny sitting there. Both of them are imagining the two of them working out and having very different reactions to that image in their brain. <laughs> very, very different. <laughs> Dolly is, is all flowery. There's a lot of sweat. There's some um, <laughs> unnecessary grunting. Manny, it's two stick figures just hoo ha hoo ha. Very well, Dahlia has also inserted Spiro somehow into that, it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just imagining the three boys sweating and working out. Just shirts off, like squirting water <laughs> into their mouths. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, that. that's on the internet no. forever. <laughs> that's there. Someone, that's someone there. is going to get the both of you doing that, and it's just that's just your life now. <laughs> yep. Oh, child. <sighs> what would be? What would we be if we didn't doing. have compromising gifts for ourselves <laughs> on the internet? Are we even I mean, tabletop <laughs> RPG performers? If that is not a thing that ha- like that exists. Not. Oh, child. Okay. As the four of you enter the cafeteria, uh, you see the stark white hair of Kim Winters. Uh, she sits next to a young man with a bowl cut who is uh, draw, keeping his head down, wearing a hoodie and drawing. Hey, save your table. Turns out this guy's like kryptonite to everyone else. What? Oh. Okay. That, that's a... <laughs> I'm, I'm very confused. Uh, Manny, but also Aki, kind of spaced out and didn't know what just happened. As you huh? entered the cafeteria, you found Kim. She has saved you a table, and she is sitting with uh, Nick McDonald, who uh, the you manga had boy. a... The manga boy. Oh. Is that yeah. who we commissioned to do all of our very nice art? Please tell me that it was. It absolutely was. Good. No, he wasn't paid, obviously. Um, I don't think Manny would have been okay with that. Mm. Kim would have. Dahlia wouldn't have been okay with it either. No, pay your artist. Yeah. Manny um, would probably have figured out a way to use some of like like uh some of the booster money that like we get. Because we make plenty of money from boosters. We're a private school for crying out loud. We can afford to pay an artist. Like Lenny probably like if Lenny heard that somebody needed to get paid, he would probably just reach into his wallet and take <laughs> however he doesn't fully know. Like it's like, I don't know, it's like I, Money I is got, like, imaginary. How I've much got, can a banana cost? Yeah, enough? I've got like two hundred. I don't know. I could pull more out if I need to, but is that enough? I don't know. I feel like that's fine, but like seriously though, we are a school. We're a boarding school. This there's no way we don't have money to pay an artist. Yeah, that's fair. My school always had this weird thing where you couldn't, where students couldn't make money in any program. At well, school, this though. this nope. was us specifically commissioning an artist to do a thing for the school, and therefore fair enough. Be paid. I think that this is a progressive school that teaches kids that like the work you do and the labor you put in is worth something. You either getting class credit for it or getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm a communist. So absolutely get paid for your work. You deserve it. Um, I'm a socialist. Socialist. A very, very vague difference between the two. I actually don't really know the difference. I'm kind of stupid. But uh, anyway. Communism is when the government uh, controls uh the industry and socialism is where the workers control industry oh i like that one better I, i'm a yeah. socialist i'm not a communist I, i'm a socialist there we go i'm a black man <laughs> yep i mean that that just means that it's just like pay me and we'll be good. right <laughs> i'm a survivor how about that mm. i'm gonna give up what we have <clears throat> to be so <laughs> anywho <laughs> yeah kim waves the four of you over this kid is great. I put him at any table. Everyone just leaves. Why are you saying so loud right next to him? That's, he doesn't that's care. not nice. Hey, kid, what's your name? 
It's Nick. Um, it's you adopted him. Uh, he gives a bit. Yes, uh, you do know him, uh, Kwame. You when he, after you defeated him and his divinity that went a little off oh, the wall. Oh, yeah, I don't know yeah. his name. His name was like Tom Frank. It's Nick. Steven, Nick. So yeah, so that, I was right. Steven, um, ouch. It, <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nicholas, how you doing? Hi. Remember, I, first of all, Kim, not someone you use. Off limits, all right? Oh, come on. Did limits still apply? I broke reality. I Come am on. the literal br reality breaker. Yes, yeah, well, limits still apply. Okay, when you come back from the dead, I'll listen more. Is that a challenge? I, I, it almost like literally happened today. So like, really? And Kim kind of gives you stink eye, Kwame. Like, how dare you steal her gimmick? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I I do not I do not care what you can do. This one has been to a lot, just like all of us. He is not to be picked on. I have adopted him already. You cannot do that. I already have the paper signed. They are not null and void yet. Sorry. This is a very strange conversation. I'm going to go get some food. Yeah, I, I'm going to come with you. Yes. Um, as you eat your food, uh, you are replenished with uh, two AP points. Oh, I'm back up to food. Yeah. So Kim goes ahead, fills you in that she has also been incredibly busy with crow issues and how she's also been training uh, Nick to fight, which is uh, been interesting considering his skill set. At some point soon here, we're going to have a secondary team and we'll be able to cover more locations between yeah. you and Spiro and Nick. <laughs> Spiro That's won't do a thing. Oh, actually, 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 I'm very proud of our little Frenchman. He not only helped us fight, he actually killed something. So what? good um, for him. He's not little. Thank you. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I think we, you would describe him as live. No, he's he's got a big stature. That's all I was saying. Mm-hmm. I feel like we should quit while we're ahead. I mean, he definitely, like, when he enters a room, he, like, takes up more space than he really does. Yeah, he's very statuesque. I believe that is the word you're looking for. Statuesque. Thank you. Lenny, was that a hint of jealousy? Did he take up what? more room no. than you have? I'm gonna go, I, got, I don't know. I heard jealousy. I'm going to go get, get an iced tea. Do you feel that way when I walk in a room? I can command the stage if you really want me to. You do. In a wonderful, well, I mean, it wouldn't matter which way you did. You do. You are. You have a very commanding presence, Kwame. It's awesome. I agree. And I think Lenny needs someone to command him, Kim says, with the biggest shit-eating grin. What? What? Huh? I, I actually think Lenny needs uh, more commanding of himself. Right, Lenny? <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody should tell Lenny what to do except Lenny. Exactly. I I feel like y'all are saying things that are like different than what you mean to, to say, and I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, I'm saying that nobody should tell Lenny what to do except for Lenny. I yeah. said exactly what I meant. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was making fun of you, Kim says. Oh, uh, cool. Sipping her energy drink through a straw. Kim... Do you, you know they make reusable straws in now? order to deflect from the trauma of having died and coming back from the dead? Oh, absolutely. Okay, as long as no, I a hundred percent am aware. I do this as a defense mechanism because <laughs> being me is suffering sometimes. I may yeah. be smiling, but the light in me is dying. But you could open up to us about that. I mean, we're the ones that helped bring you back to life. Yeah. Also, yeah. we're 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 gonna have uh we're gonna have like a, a a nap a nap sleepover. You should you should come and hang out. Yeah, you shouldn't bottle things up, Kim. It's bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> we're all uh, Nick on looks up from his sketchbook and just kind of blinks a few times before going back to drawing. <laughs> uh, Kwame, as they're talking, just kind of leans over. Uh, he probably has like a, a fry or two in his mouth, and he's like eating and like looking over to see what he's drawing. 
Uh, Nick is actually drawing you, Kwame. It's a very uh, it great is, subject. Yes, uh, it is. You're currently killing a giant dragon mm. with a pen. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. I, I can't do that myself. Oh, uh, um, it, yeah, it was the first uh, poster I pitched to uh, the um, uh, pep squad. Um, they said it was a bit dr dramatic. So They I, said um, what? Uh, I was Sorry. obviously not at that meeting because I would have said it was awesome and absolutely should have been the poster. Mm, it, it wasn't you. It was the, uh, the, 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 big, the big Russian guy. Oh, he well, doesn't see. know what's good for him. Well, you know, if you if you are finished with that, uh, whenever you get finished, go ahead, you know, slide it to me and let me go to the pep club and tell them what's over dramatic. Call me over dramatic, <laughs> not over dramatic. Okay. Mm. Nick uh, smiles a little bit, and Kim is watching. It. This is the cutest goddamn thing. She says uh, as she looks over Lenny's tray as to some for something to steal. Is Lenny still only eating vegetables? Uh, there's a lot of steamed vegetables. Uh, yet. Steamed vegetables, uh, some boiled chicken, and one brownie slice. One little square of brownie. You need more flavor in your food, dude. Like, this is... This is... Look. I grabbed a push pop to put on his tray. Like I've been doing <laughs> for the last, like, three weeks at lunch. Oh my god, I miss those things. Do they still make those? The Flintstones mm -hmm. ones? Yeah. So good. Mm. Variety is the spice of life, Lenny. I think and spice alone would spice up your life, Kim says. All the colors of the world. Oh, yeah, you're right. I've, I've actually taken that, uh, taken your advice. I, I forgot. He pulls out sriracha and he pours it on his steamed vegetables. Well, I guess that's a start. As long um, as it's not just salt and pepper. There are all kinds of delicious spices out there. My favorite is cumin. Mmm, cumin. That's a good one. I it's also very But like, say. it's also my, it's also Aki's favorite spice. Cumin is like the most, like it's a, it's a superior. Yep, spice. I agree. <laughs> Put it on everything and make it taste that much better. So. And now I'm hungry. Uh, Kim uh, takes out her reusable straw. Still amazed these things exist. Uh, does one of those. Uh, does a toss of her soda can into the trash. Absolutely lands it. Kobe, motherfuckers. So, um, how's it going for you guys? Because uh, if I see one more crow, I'm going to scream. Giant stone horse that really kicked the hay out of us. Hey. I got hit. <laughs> that was like super clever. Thank you. I'll give you that. I had a penguin. We, she puts an arm around Nick, who immediately goes, please don't do that. We had a penguin, okay? A penguin a crow. Oh, It was whoa. a waddly death machine that us two and Spiro had to take down. And Spiro, let's see. Um, she takes her straw and holds it up under her nose as if it's a mustache. I am, how you say... Not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> I am so, going to my room. <laughs> so we had a horse, and we're we're fighting the king in white, and we've been making these like kind of parallel to like the game of chess. So maybe we were fighting a knight, a penguin. Maybe penguin is another pawn. I don't know. Oh shit! I didn't think about that. Oh wait, yeah. oh, wait. We fought. We fought the dog, which is probably a pawn. The pig was probably a pawn. How yes, is a penguin? We fought a... Well, animal. Well, I'm thinking like. Where... Oh no! My question is how a penguin was really hard to fight. You just have to get up on higher ground. They can't fly. Yeah, you know, I thought that, and we tried it. Um, I ended up standing on this guy's shoulders for a bit. Um, but it like was vicious. I have not dealt with an angrier bird in my life. You know, penguins actually have several sets of teeth. Yeah, this one did. They Penguins moved. Like, ooh, they moved. Like, like, like a, like, ooh. That's kind of cool, though. You'll have, oh. it, yeah, that was cool. So, pawns? 
We fought a knight. Mons, knight. We've also fought something else higher up, haven't we? I we fought we... The, the the rook. Yeah. Yeah. Rook, knight, penguin, and a dog. Mm. So are we wiping their board? Have they gotten any wins on us? Like, you know how and sometimes in chess you have to trade. That's like a strategy. Well, we almost got close with Kwame. Let's not talk about that. You know, they don't need to well, win anything. This isn't a game. This is yeah. my life. That, it, it might not just be us, though. If they've, like, come now that, ooh, now that they can be seen by other people, it's really very possible that they're, they're, we need to, like, make sure that, you know, nobody's gone missing or potentially been, like, greatly injured. Um, I feel like if if a giant stone creature like came out and started messing with people like that would have been like on the news or something. I mean, We're just assuming that we have stopped every single last one that has come through so far. That's a good point. But that is, we are noticing that they show up where folk like us are. Potentially they are drawn to our keys, our divinity. We are a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? A, 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 a connection to a gateway. I do not know. That, that makes sense. Cause like when, when we were dealing with, uh, the Phantom Queen, um, she would like do some stuff and then we would have, we'd hear it about it and come running. Whereas this time they're like, they seem to be like going after us, like straight off the bat. Kim gets kind of quiet. Um, behind her appears the mass of feathers that you know as the Morrigan, the former Phantom Queen. What if we already took one of their pieces? I mean, wouldn't we have technically taken four? Well, I mean, like, she's a queen, right? You were a queen. Oh, oh, well, if we had taken the queen already, that would make us be like that would that would put us in a really, really good position. Yeah. And like, oh, shit. Yeah, definitely. They can cuss. They can cuss. I didn't know they could cuss. Oh, 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 brain, brain's doing, brain's doing a thing. Ow, ow, brain's doing uh, a thing. Sure, Nick ow. closes his sketchbook and spans you with it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Prom court. Prom court. Prom court. Mm -hmm. We're the pieces. Or we're going to become the pieces. We could be the pieces. Prom court. Oh, so whoever becomes part of the prom court gets and that's why they're glowing they become the pieces <gasps> oh 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 boy oh brain oh that's a hmm. when the phantom queen appears i look at a nancy i am now asking you deliberately oh dear Manny's what just full on form, galaxy brain over here. <laughs> what form did you take before? Oh, well, um because Phantom Queen was not the name that is I, I don't care. The Phantom Queen is the Morgan, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Morgan, but they are known as the Phantom Queen. You are Nancy, but you're also known as the King of Stories. I'm just making sure you're not tied to this too. Oh my gosh. Yes. Why? Yeah. 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 Why am I hearing? It's, <laughs> it's, it's I, I, us, and I can't turn the sound off or something. There we go. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Sorry about that. Um, Kim actually gets a bit of a grin when we start talking to it, and she kind of leans over. Come on. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. I do not need to be bullied by both of you. It's fine. Fine. Okay. Yes, I am this. I am also the king of stories. Now. Wait. Because Persephone is the queen of the underworld. We are many queens and kings. I just happen to have many forms. In front of you appears 
a man like silhouette. They do not have any discernible facial features, and they have uh, three arms, giving them almost a spider-like silhouette. Each of the arms ends at a point, and uh, the center of their chest is that of a book. It's laid open with the pages constantly turning and new writing appearing on it. And then, and Nancy turns back into his spider form. This is just easier to get around. Okay, I was just making sure that was not unnecessary information about what's going on now. Um, Trust me, if I knew, I would be all about telling you, even if you did not ask. I that's promise. a lie. Okay, th that is a lie. <clears throat> Kim lets out a giggle. God, he does not change. I love that about him. So we took a queen. And in the game of chess, a pawn becomes the new queen. The prom court. Did we take a king too? I'm one, there's two crowns. Are there's, they going, there's going to be four. I well, no, there isn't. I actually have to source something different. I was thinking about getting scepters. Oh, that sounds dope. I mean, if if I'm like tracking everything, like I think I am, I think what it is is uh, uh, the Phantom Queen was uh, like, and and all these things they are white marble, so they're playing in white, uh, and we are the other team, so we haven't selected our king and queen yet, but we those crowns are what they need to select those yes and then and then like i said uh we have the two other members of the prom court who i was like gonna make uh i actually need to go and 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 pick out the the scepters that i wanted for them but i don't know that those will be imbued with any sort of like magical power i just know that for sure king queen that's these are something and we have to take really good care of them it sounds like to me we need to make sure they don't go on anyone's head. But yours. But not ours. Oh. we have Because no if idea. they are using prom as the instrument to get these things on, mm. they know no one will do it until that night. Mm. That's going to be a, a the minute... I do not know what this power is, but something tells me when the king and queen... And, in their terms, the king and queen is chosen, and the crowns go upon their heads. That's their chance. That's going to cause problems. Mm. We should figure out exactly what these crowns do. I'm going to investigate. Maybe in like... Sounds should... like we're skipping stuff to investigate. I am in. So is Nick, Kim says, pulling Nick tor towards her. I, uh, um, I, I guess I can come with you guys. Yeah. Okay. What, if, what if we like... Um... I know it's weird suggesting this, but like, you know, maybe like whoever wears these crowns should be one of us, you know, so that better you know, one of us than yeah. somebody. Who so like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, I don't, I hate, I hate to be the one that like suggests this or whatever, but what if we like straight up like cheat or whatever and, and make sure that one of us wins? Like, I don't, no, I, no uh, we can't. Standing next to Manny with the biggest smile, just like is Kim. I don't Ooh, think we have to cheat. Plan. I don't think we have to cheat. One, because all of you are amazing and and people really like you. And I think if any of you uh, are in the running, and there's no reason why one of you should not win, I do not think we have to stack votes or cheat in order to oh. be able to succeed. I agree. Counterpoint: Cheating's very fun. No. If cheating was as fun as winning was, I would have already had uh, a winning. I would have already been in the title role. Kim, we have All to right. talk about your chaotic neutralness. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. You say chaotic neutral. I say horribly traumatized. Either way, let's go play with magic we don't understand. You know that we have like counselors that are free, yeah. right? Therapy. Like, is a thing. yeah. They like to as argue Kim, about stuff. As Kim stands up, uh, 
dragging Nick by the shoulder, making him stand up as well. Okay, guess I'm going. Um, listen, I would love to talk to a counselor, but as soon as you find one that specializes in necromancy, I'm good. So come on, let's go play with magic we don't get, huh? Sounds great. I, I don't want to go to English. I have, what's my next class? Oh, oh man, I'm going to miss history class. White guy does something bad. Everyone pays for it. No one learns anything. There, I've saved you a lecture. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I mean, I know that technically that's like history as most of it is written, but there's so much history that is yet unexplored or not written because it's not, it's not like uh, culturally relevant, but I, I like all history. Yeah, I've been like really getting into like Bronze Age stuff because like there's so much of that like we don't even like know. It's been really fascinating. Mm. Uh, Mahima MS from the Anthropology Club kind of looks up like I sent someone who understands. <laughs> like, do you know that like we had this whole society built on trade in in the Bronze Age, and it's just like all like pretty much every city, uh, major city, just like collapsed in the course of a couple of years. It's like fascinating. Did you learn that from Bill Wirtz? Uh, I don't think so. You've never seen, you know, the history of the entire world. I guess it's a good, it's a good video. You'd like it. Oh, oh, that one's really funny. Check that out. All right, everybody, we ready to go and do the thing. Oh, not really, but um, sure, yeah, let's do it. Uh, Absolutely, gonna let's go. Be fun, gonna be fun, gonna solve a mystery. It's gonna be fun. Also, everyone, just reminding the chat, we are twenty-five dollars away from our next unlock and fifty dollars away from another draw from the deck of heroes. So, Manny's in a surprisingly good mood despite still being pretty roughed up, which yeah. is concerning. Um, <laughs> actually, since you all ate lunch, uh, go ahead and replenish. Uh, only three hit points. I mean, I'll take it. I'm good. Slightly better than I was. So, yes. Uh you okay? With that, the four of you joined by Kim and Nick find yourselves, uh, which dorm room are you doing this in? We can all come and hang out in mine. All right. Uh, Manny, why don't you describe your dorm room for us? Oh, okay. So uh, I think that Manny lately has been doing like lots of like puzzles, but they're the type of puzzles that like are like brain breaker puzzles that like, like, for example, like it's a puzzle that's like completely monochrome. It's all one color and it's like in like a weird spiral. I actually have a puzzle like that that I have been trying to complete for ages and just haven't had the chance to actually do. But it's like this spiral pattern. It's all one color. But like puzzles that are like that, that are just like very, very odd, either all one color or like a very like optical illusion type thing so that they're difficult to do. And it's just like they've got a couple of puzzle tables set up around their room and like all of these different puzzles in like different stages of completion and like otherwise it's very it's still very like um like it's it's pretty sparse like desk bed you know closet stuff like that like the the sheets are very like stately like they do a lot of warm tones in their in their room so there's lots of rich greens and maroons and like um like those types of like forest like it's like deep earthy tones happening in their room <laughs> Nice. Oh, it's my uh, my take your happy drugs alarm. So, take your pills. Don't forget. Now, uh, as you all gather in the room, it is definitely not big enough for everyone. Some people are on the floor. Some people are on the bed. And you have the two crowns. What are you going to do with them, Manny? Well, I figure a basic uh, maat. Um, uh, you know, use the my base ability, uh, Maat's base ability to discern the truth of these. Uh, see if I can uncover a little bit about what kind of magic has been imbued in them. Um, okay, I like that. Just a basic scan, essentially. All right, you're using detect magic. Basically, yeah. Go ahead, spend the AP point. This is going to be intelligence power. Cooley. And we're looking for a 12. Sure. Let's see. I rolled exactly a 12. 
Awesome. It is going to work. Um, as you scan over this thing, um, you go into your Batman vision and see that this is, um, it's divinity. It's divinity, but it also has something different to it. It reminds you of uh, that strange energy you saw around Mandy when you saved her from the Phantom Queen. It's almost like it's combined. Well, there's definitely the aura of some deity nonsense happening here. It reminds me a little bit of like what happened in the graveyard when we like got Mandy back. It's a weird like mishmash mix of the two. Didn't get much else besides that though, but there's definitely deity power in these. Most likely the, the king in the white. So I don't think you're wrong, Kwame. So I can repeat that as I my my brain said, no ma'am, no techie, no salami. Um, um no, what kind of power is in it? Uh there's some sort of deity power in here. Deity the power. the the same deity power that we ran into in the graveyard when we saved Mandy. Uh so likely there is the power of like the 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 power that that fuels uh the, the 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 door maybe or 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 the king in white himself or a combination of the two some some sort of mishmash of of a lot of deity power happening in these crowns but the question is the question isn't if is divinity within the crown the question is whose divinity we still do not know what god or rogue god or whoever is doing such a thing. Right. That Kim, is correct. Oh, yeah. Kim snoops forward a bit and squints her eyes. What if it's not a divinity? Huh. Well, I mean, look, we all have divinities. Normal people can't see them. And I'm not entirely convinced still that these guys are the same things from, like, you know, mythology classes or whatever. What if it's made out of what makes these guys? The crows, you mean? No, our, our divinity. What if it's like oh. made from that? Could be. Like primordial? Like past divinity? Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, that's cool. Now we have to go. Now you see um, um, Kawame um, um, because I feel like with Anansi and his stories, he always has like some kind of book or whatever. He's like, oh, I need to. Um, uh, uh, um, now I want to. Now he he's wants to look at like not just gods, but looking at like titans and primordials and things of that nature. Still in mythology, because going past just normal gods, he's like Cronus. No, um, um, I don't know. Um, all these Me? people. He's just like. Going through his head, yeah. He wants to start researching, seeing what Anansi um, may or may not know um, as far as going just beyond that. And now he's like, is this above our heads? It's already above my pay grade, but is it above any, anything we're expecting? He's confused. <laughs> uh, you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. He's smart boy. That's a nine on a ten. Ah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know a lot about this stuff, Kwame. Um, you, I mean, you have a divinity yourself, but you don't really know if this could be something like that. Ah, uh, this doesn't make sense. Th what? What is? Is his name Mr. Ash or Dr. Ash? Dr. Ash. What is Dr. Ash again? And how does our he know about divinity? Master? Well, obviously he's our hitmaster. Uh, his divinity, you mean? Yes. He's basically uh, been the, the one uh, for like years since he created the school and founded it. He's he's helped kids. He's He, he was the one who gave divinities to kids to fight uh, until... until, uh, until 
Until, until I died. Yeah, yeah. Until she died. And then he stopped doing it. And then we got our divinity and it wasn't because of him. And then we punched him a whole bunch. I just keep I, I don't want punched to... him. Ooh. We 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 beat him up a bit. Don't beat up old men. He did it. He started it. He was testing us and he attacked yeah. us. He attacked first. Yeah. He, he he was all like, How do you expect to defeat the Phantom Queen if you can't fight me? And then we and then, and we, then we did. Then and we then did. we also fought the Phantom Queen. So uh, don't start a... a fight you can't finish. Um could I get a charisma roll from Manny with a plus three? Sure. I'm looking for a six. Let's see how this goes. Uh, ten. Okay. Um, you can tell that Kim is not mad at you guys for beating up Dr. Ash, but she is embarrassed. Kind of like finding out your dad still does Rocky Horror or something like that. I mean, he embarrassed himself, so. <sighs> yeah, he's uh, he's good. He's just kind of a whatever. So, who's going to put it on first? Nobody's putting it on now. I think it's too soon. We need to learn a lot more about this. And plus, I honestly think it might not be a bad idea to make sure that we have secured all of the of the paraphernalia for prom court and see what happens to it. Very likely nothing. It's very possible that the uh, scepters will be totally mundane, considering that, like, I'm really curious about where these crowns came from. Nobody told me how we bought them. Nobody told me what store we got them from. I don't know anything about the origin of these crowns. I should talk to the pep squad president about that. All I know is that it's he's the same one they use. They use the same ones every year? Well, spoiler alert, uh, was here 10 years ago. Yeah, um, these are the same crowns. Oh, well, yeah, then the scepters are probably just going to be totally, like, so normal. If these are, like, the same crowns or whatever, then, like, um, then whoever's in your pep squad probably wouldn't know, but uh, Dr. Ash might. Kim, do you know where the crowns are kept? Like the storage part place that they're kept? I always thought that was like your little club's thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I know where they're kept. Maybe. Out of character, do I know where they're kept? Roll intelligence. Oh, no. <laughs> Looking for a five. <laughs> On a d6, good luck to me. Wait, let me actually. No, I only got a four. Okay, we do have rerolls. Oh, okay, I'll use it. Why not? <laughs> Two left. We'll stand at the episode. I rolled worse. I rolled a one. Yeah, nope. You have no idea. Piana handed them of, to you. Yeah, I used all of my good brain juice earlier, and now now Manny's tapped out. <laughs> yes. But, and as you're tapped out, I would like everyone to roll me intelligence. <laughs> We're looking for a oh! That's gone. Come from Two. Home. Eight. Three. Uh, one. Okay, who got the eight? Y'all. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Quiet. No one else seems to notice. But you and Nick both glance over and you see a red rabbit. Red rabbit. A red and green rabbit. Uh, it is trying very hard to be stealthy and doing a pretty good job despite its coloring. Is that Loki? Is that Loki? the same color? Well, I didn't say that aloud, sorry. Um, no. Is that the same color we saw in the, yes. in the Hella Haunted House? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought the <sighs> house was green. It's red and green. Okay. It's kind of a shifting color palette. It almost looks like a uh, Rorschach, Rorschach test. From I can say from one trickster adjacent to another, you are doing a very bad job at hiding. Huh? He what knows who I'm talking to. I'm not over. hiding anything. You're what? not a trickster. I never hide. You're not a trickster either. Yes. Who are you talking to, Kwame? And Aki, I need Manny to give me a dexterity roll. 
Oh boy. Am huh? I about to get glumped by a wabbit? Beat a three. Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> I rolled a two. Are you are you serious? Yep. Well, do you like to use the re-roll? Nope. <laughs> Too left. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm um, gonna take it. Whatever's okay. about to happen. A green blur just whoosh, and many. There is no crown in your hand anymore. <sighs> you see it running towards your door. Uh, I would like to chase after it. Yeah, it, it, my door is not open, so before before it can be open, I basically like. Uh, I would like to. Oh man! Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, uh, this will not be combat. Technically, we'll just have an order uh, cool. for a rabbit chase. Sure, 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 oh, sure, 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 Totally fine. 11. Crit Eight. fail. Uh, 12. All right. 11 for uh, Lenny. Mm -hmm. 12 for Aki. Mm -hmm. Me and Manny. 8 for uh, Dahlia. Uh, CB, what did Kwame get? Two. One and Two. one. Oh my god. You were the one who saw them. Exactly. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Yes. You ever see something and you're just like, that can't be real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that can't be a thing that happened. That's, I... that's too silly Dreaming, for me. For sure. Yes. So, uh, yes, we are going to start off with Manny. Uh, you have just had the crown snatched from your hands, uh, and it is scurrying towards the door. What are you going to do? Uh, Manny is going to leap to their feet, uh, manifest their sword, run towards the door, and go, Loki, you better stop right now, or you're going to be in a world of hurt. Sorry, can't talk right now. Very busy. Uh, and uh, I am going to basically, oh man, I am, oh, so, okay. I'm going to see if I can't like use my Ot's power to create like a force field around the door or something. <laughs> Go um, ahead and give me a roll. This will be uh, defense and strength. Defense and strength. Am I adding anything to that, or is it just... Uh, you'll be struggle? adding four to it, because uh, we got the hanged man. Oh, man, that's terrible. Uh, eight. Eight, okay. It now has... There is an eight door uh, shield. He has to roll an eight to break down the door, or get through it now. Uh, Lenny, you're up next. I would like to tackle this rabbit. Okay. Uh, that is going to be your strength. 11. Oh, God. Um, so you absolutely tackled a rabbit. You have tackled Loki. And I need a dexterity roll to see if you can hold on to him. But we'll do that on your next turn because you okay. have successfully captured the bunny. Dahlia, your turn. I'm running up to where Lenny has captured Loki. And I'm prying that crown from his hands. You're not uh, even running for court. It's very difficult. I wish I had thumbs. Go ahead and give me a strength roll. We're looking for, a, actually, let's see what we're looking for. We're looking for a six. If you would just tell There's us no the truth. There's no way I can get a six. I got a nut one. You have re-rolls. We, have we do re have re-rolls, and you could actually make this a divinity roll. I could make this a divinity roll. Uh, I am going to make this a divinity roll, and uh, I'm going to threaten him with a bunch of briars and just, like, thorny bushes that are, like, creeping toward his hands as I'm pulling this crown from him. Okay. His paws. Um We'll still make this strength, but we'll make it a strength and uh, power roll for you. Strength. Power. I got a six. I got the power. Um, that meets ties. Uh, go to players. So yes, you do manage to snatch it. Okay, okay. I don't want to do the Disney thing. What? 
a uh, rabbit priors splash uh, mountain okay yes. never mind yes that that's what I was going for. Yes. Yeah, I was wondering why you're Loki parading around as Bear Rabbit, another trickster, who is black and you're not. Yeah. Also, like not to not to be that person, but that's like a heck of problematic story in like so many different facets. And I'm also where it's problematic. I'm not you're, you're just copying Orpheus, and that's very rude. You have no idea how well I'm copying Orpheus. What? I would like everyone to give me a charisma roll. We're looking to beat a three. Uh, Dahlia, you get a plus two to the roll. Ooh, uh, I got a four on MD4. I got a nat 12 on a 12. That'll be a 14. Nice. I got an 11 on a 12. That's an eight for me. It's at this moment you all realize he doesn't want to be a rabbit. I think we all knew that. <laughs> um, I think I think uh, Manny maybe already knew that from last oh yeah. time. Okay. How come it is? His ears every... begin to move. G. E. A. S. Oh. Gaius. Gaius. I wonder if that spell was what was used on Orpheus too. And I wonder why it's always rabbits. Hmm. I wish I knew. Who did this? Who did this to you? <clears throat> he can't talk about it. So they have this thing where they I asked them questions, but she couldn't answer them when I did. So I think that he's under some sort of spell that compels them to not reveal who has done this to them. He tries to touch his nose, but realizes uh, stubby little bunny arms doesn't really reach. Can we ask you questions that aren't really about it? And then you answer and we kind of get like a hint. Wink, wink. Yeah, like charades. Yeah. Is this what my life has become? <laughs> Parlor games. Fine. Do we, do we like as a group, know the person that, or people that may have done this to you? No. Okay. Hey, to say that, lovely. That narrows it down a lot. Well, it narrows down so, everyone that I know. Yeah, it I'm narrows it down to <laughs> someone we don't know. Yes. There are so many people we don't know though. But at least we know it's not the people that we do know. I guess that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a heck of a good question. You're very smart. So it's not someone that we know. Hmm. Oh. Is, is this person... Uh, is this person a... a you said something earlier before, Kwame, about the possibility that this divinity is primordial. Um, perhaps we could ask a question, uh, prodding more into that. Phrasing the question, while I am a wordsmith, is coming hard to me. Um, oh, are you, are you trying to take this crown because someone's telling you to do it, or do you need it for something? Is somebody commanding? It goes great with my outfits, and I'm just desperate for cheap jewelry. Hey, the attitude is not going to help anyone right now. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I only really like one of you, Manny. Well, I mean, it's it's actually what did I do? a pretty a pretty valid question, Loki. Have you been compelled to steal the crown? I. I'm being punished. For the key! For, op for opening the gate with me! <laughs> On the nose, got it. Um, okay. Well, why wasn't I punished then? Because I, I did the same thing. Well, you lost Orpheus. Well, I think... 
I wasn't punished by losing Orpheus. I think Orpheus lost himself because he helped us. And now Loki is in Orpheus's position, has taken over that position. Mm, probably a good guess. Okay, so you're being punished for having helped us with the door. Cool. Um, so, hold on, really quickly, out of character, op helping with the door was getting it open, sealing it? Sorry. Yeah, opening it. Yeah, the, the Phantom Queen wanted to open the door to Oblivion, and, and we helped Loki open it. So someone is mad that the door was opened, which makes it sound like this person isn't necessarily bad. It's like a wrong was done. The door should have been opened. It was opened by an evil individual. Now you're being punished for opening said door. Well, well it, it wasn't, wasn't open. It, Loki and I opened it so that we could get the Morrigan back. And, and she wouldn't be evil again. Uh, but everyone else that was on our side before then didn't want us to open the door. Yeah, and Loki said right before that, and has said a couple of times since, that bad things have to happen in order mm -hmm. for good things to happen. Yeah. So it's so, very likely that whatever was unleashed is not happy with the state of things right now. I don't know. Or, or it's not what was unleashed, but potentially what was trying to prevent I'm wondering if this is a protocol to make things back the way they were. Possibly. I'm just thinking, if there was a guardian whose job is, if something was done, their job is to make it go back, they would punish anything that made it be so. Wait. Oh. This is all happening because we freed the queen. We and we opened the, the gate. Balance. We we knocked off the balance, so they're just trying to get the queen back so that they can get the door shut again and everything can go back to normal. Then why steal the crowns? You know, I have a million questions, and it seems like you do too. And it's amazing, none of you have asked the one person who might know. And oh. with that, Loki looks over to Kim and the Morrigan. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And she, she wasn't really being funny. sarcastic and rude, so I just didn't really she was so with us. Kim looks over at her divinity. More, what the hell are they talking about? You went psycho because I died. It's that's it, right? But there was 10 years between then and now. Yeah. Yeah. And you only really went psycho in like the last couple of years, like basically the last six months, because the Phantom Queen was always kind of a rumor, but it wasn't until recently that she actually started doing stuff. Wait, I might be reaching with this. What if before Morgan went to open the door to get Kim back and in turn needed to replace the queen and so the Morgan was taken as the queen then, and that's when the Morgan went all dark, evil, psycho. And then when we freed the Morgan, they needed another queen because we took the person out of that place. And now they're looking for another queen because we freed the Morgan from the bounds that she had when she opened the door trying to get Kim back. The Morgan takes her humanoid form. That bone white and black feathered figure that most of you learned to fear last semester. I don't know, I think it's kind of beautiful now that she's not evil. Mm, yeah. Indeed. She gently sits down on your floor, Manny. I have a lot to tell you all. And that is where we are going to wrap this episode of oh. New Pantheon Academia. We'll be picking up exactly where we left off next week. So, you know, make sure if you're, uh, you know, listening to this, sorry, <laughs> check us out live. Uh, also, we do have a toast 
coming in. Yay. So as, as okay, as as the Morgan is is as she has something she needs to say. raining so as we got that going for us uh we got a message from chove exati it says uh the circus club's aerial loops aren't hula hoops please return them all right you know we don't have we have funding but we can't go giving out a bunch of stuff uh we got another one from uh dj little lily pad says chove exati has unleashed multiple frogs onto the school campus Okay, so it, just because they stole your aerials doesn't mean you can release frogs, kids. Okay, that's that's it. That's it for school announcements. <laughs> Thank you, Chovixani and DJ Little Lilypad. Now, uh, as before we wrap for the day, a uh, very quick reminder. Monday is an all-new Broken Pact, our official D&D stream sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, with their mission ahead of them. The crew of the Moray head out to warn the gods of the impending doom of Theros. That's right, we're still in Theros. It's really cool. Uh, the stream begins at 8 p.m. Pacific time here on Saving Throw. Don't forget, it is daylight savings time, so take your take your clocks and throw them out a window because time is irrelevant now. I mean, it always was. because it's not Always real. has been. Time is made up, much like gender. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen Pope 101 on TikTok. I'll eventually figure out how I'm going to get my Twitter back or something so you can chat with me. I mean, honestly, Stephen, you're free. Like you, you have you, you have, have been released, escaped. Yeah. I liked Twitter though. I really did. I enjoyed myself on there. May ugh, that can't be health. That can't be a healthy statement, can it? Oof. Anyway, until then, you can check me out on TikTok at Steam Pope 101 and you can also find me in the Saving Throw Show Discord. I hang out in there, free to message me, so go ahead. Uh, now, Aki, where can they find you? You can find me uh, at always, except for Twitch, at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. And uh, you can find my entire Twitch streaming schedule over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Aki, S-H-I-D-A-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-I-N-
Oh uh, yeah. Uh but no, uh, we'll see. Um if I do, you'll see it at some point. Uh either who uh I do lots of different things. I want to shout out um next Saturday at 1 30 Pacific time along with Aki. Um uh, let's get Wild Mount, my D D campaign uh using Critical Rose Wild Mount setting uh, premieres on my channel. Again, that's March 20th at 1 30 Pacific. Uh, we are also hosted by uh, Wizards of the Coast, so you can check that out on their Twitch as well. Um, it's going to be a good time. Very, very excited. And uh, as the producer of that, I'm very nervous because there's a lot of stuff I'm doing this week to make sure that's good for next week. Um, so pray for me. Uh, and yeah, that's that. There's something else happening tomorrow, but I quite literally can't talk about it. But you'll find out tomorrow at some point Ooh. in the evening. Uh, so just check out my Twitter. Just check my Twitter and see where I'm at. See what I'm sharing. Um, it might, it might, there might be a hint, but that's it. That's me. Love it. So once again, don't forget to check out Broken Pack tomorrow. Special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes, and thank you so much for tuning in. However you choose to do that, uh, we will be back next week. And until then, bye. <laughs>